Seriously, I, this is true. Right? I actually, seriously, 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 I'm a serious. Thing. I used to live in Baghdad, right? I used to live there during the Iran-Iraq War in 1985 when Saddam Hussein was lobbing missiles from Baghdad into Tehran, and the Ayatollah Khomeini was lobbing missiles from Tehran into Baghdad, and 250 Irish people lived in that war zone. The crack, right? <laughs> You haven't lived until you've been in an Irish bar in Baghdad, I'll tell you, right? <laughs> and we're all in our Irish villa one night, and this missile came in from Tehran and hit this bridge down the road. That's when I realised that we value drink above life itself. <laughs> As Frank was in front of me, he was pointed, was on the bar. Missile on its way. Like, I mean, could have been an Irish bar anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. Uh, give us uh, two points of Guinness and three points of Heineken, will you please? And put us on a slow one and don't close the bleeding barrel like you did last night, right? You're a racky, we're fucking Irish, you understand, right? Flash the light or something, right? Missile on its way. Meanwhile, back in the Irish bar. And, uh, and a 20 uh, major as well, please, and a packet of crisps. Well, back in the Irish bar, as I was walking past your window. Frank is in front of me, point on the bar. This is when I knew how important drink is to us, because the missile whizzed past the window, shoo, hit this bridge down the road. And the whole villa went, and Frank in front of me went, Jay's me point. Is that a bomb, was it? Ayatollah. 